Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer, and today we're taking a look and installing the Fulton Round Swivel Marine Jack. Now this jack has the name Marine in it because, as you can see on our boat trailer here, it's going to be a great option for yours, even if you're going in the ocean. In fact, it's rated for 600 hours of salt water rating, so it's going to hold up even with that salt kind of trying to break it down. It also has a zinc plating on it, and that's going to help as well. So overall, this is going to be great for if you're going to the lake or the ocean, doesn't really matter. Now this has a tongue weight rating of 1,200 pounds, so just make sure that your boat isn't exceeding that, and then pretty much it's going to be a simple installation. Now it does have a nice handle here that's going to be on the side, so it's easily accessible. You don't have to worry about top cranking it here. You also have a nice wide contact patch on the tire, so that's going to be nice. It's going to be a little more planted, and it's not going to put too much pressure if you store it somewhere uh, that might have fragile floors. You also have a caster here that's going to allow this to rotate around. So if you need to move this around while you have it stored in your garage or wherever it may be, it's no problem to just kind of move this, and it's going to go around and swivel as necessary, making mobility nice and easy. Now just because this is considered a marine jack doesn't mean that it's just going to be for a boat trailer. You can use this on really any trailer as long as the dimensions of your trailer fit where this bracket is. And that's going to allow you to go up to 3 by 5 inches. So just make sure that you're measuring your trailer and that it fits within that guideline. So you can see our bolt is rather long here, and so you can get up to three inches wide, and that five inches is gonna be accomplished by having two separate mounting holes on the main bracket, as well as having multiple holes here on our back bracket. So now this will allow for a universal fit. So with this bracket, you should be able to mate it up to your trailer as long as you stay within that three by five dimension. Now one of the great features about this is the fact that you can tilt this back when you're ready to transport. So you don't have to crank this all the way. In fact, I'm barely off the ground here. You can simply pull the pin and then this is gonna snap in place, keeping it nice and clear while you're driving down the road. Now when you are ready to use the wheel and you're ready to park your trailer, pretty easy here. You're just gonna pull your pin out and this is spring loaded. So it's gonna pop in place when you are ready and then locks in place nice and easy. Now it has 10 inches of travel, so that's going to bring the total dimensions to a minimum of 13 when it's raised up, and then overall it'll have 23 inches total when fully extended. Now installation on this is going to be very easy if you're bolting this on, because it's really just going to be sandwiching the brackets around your frame and just bolting that up. So I'm going to walk you through how to get yours installed, and that way you can refresh your trailer with a new jack or put a new one on one that you're fabbing up. So here we have our boat trailer, and the trailer's great, but our jack, as you can tell, is sitting at an angle that's not exactly ideal, and when you lower it down, it kind of wants to shift. So I think it's time that we replace this one. So our first step is going to be to remove the old jack. Now, before removing our old jack, we're gonna to want to support our trailer, and that way the coupler doesn't fall down when we're taking this off. And also, it's just gonna make it easier. It's not gonna have stress on the hardware. So you can hook it up to your truck. Um, I'm just gonna be using a floor jack here to kind of just raise this up and support it. So get yours nice and steady. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure you, that you chalk your wheels while doing this. So to mount up your new jack, it's gonna be pretty easy here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your plate is in this orientation. You'll have one hole and then two holes. The one hole is gonna go up top. So if you need to rotate that, you can just pull the pin and twist that around. Our bracket's gonna mount up just accordingly to that. So we'll go ahead and get our bolt. And I'm gonna just pass this through and get it on our bracket. And you're gonna have the channel facing out so the flat side is against the frame of the trailer. And I'm just gonna get the nylon nut just kind of started on here and that's gonna kind of hold that in place for a little bit. And we can go ahead and grab our other side and do the same thing. And then we'll go ahead and get our bottom ones in and then it'll be loosely secured so that we can tighten it. Now this is universal, so it's gonna fit a number of different widths and tra of trailers up to uh, three by five, and that's why we have extra holes down here. So wherever yours lines up, you're gonna want to run that bolt through as tight as possible. 
So just make sure you're aligned with the hole on the other side. And you might have to lift the jack up just to kind of get some room to work around and get it to line up. But once we have that aligned, we can get that nylon nut on there and then we'll have this holding up. So to make this a little bit easier, I'm gonna raise this up and that way the wheel kind of gives us leverage to hold this in place because you're gonna wanna tighten this down to where it's nice and perpendicular with the frame and that way it has a nice square uh, tightening effect on it here. So I'll lower this down just to kind of support it. So now we're gonna go ahead and get this snug up and I'm just gonna kind of do one here and then kind of go d diagonal with that and that way it's all cinched up nice and even. So get it lined up and you're gonna want these bolts, like I said, nice and perpendicular here. And this may spin the bolt of the head. So I'm using a 9 16 wrench on this side and then I have my impact here to snug this down. Now again, you don't want to over tighten one or the other because you can see mine's kind of crooked. So I'm going to just loosen this up. So just try to make it as square as possible here. And then we can really crank this down. So we've gone ahead and snugged everything up. So it's sitting there nice and tight and kind of in place where we need it. But we're going to want to go back with our torque wrench. And I'm just using the torque settings in the instructions. And that way we have those nylon nuts nice and tight, but it's not gonna be overly tightened by and bending brackets. These nylon nuts are really, really good at once you kind of get them in place, they're not gonna go anywhere over time. So once you have this torque properly, you're gonna have these set and it shouldn't become loose over time. So we have it nice and torqued, so this is all set. We can go ahead and raise this up and get our jack out of the way here. And now you're ready to start using your trailer. And the great part about this is you have a nice wheel here that's gonna keep it nice and sturdy, but still be able to make this move around whenever you need to. And that was a look and installation of the Fulton Round Swivel Marine Jack.